Radio Network, the world's conscious broadcasting network, live on iTunes and archived on iHeartRadio, the voice of consciousness. And now, join Shea Parker's best of the best, offering celebrity guests, lively discussions, hot topics, free psychic readings, and expert guest hosts. Simply the best in spiritual and metaphysical talk radio. Listen live on your phone or device using our universal mobile player. No app needed. Shea Parker's best of the best. Find out more at bestamericanpsychics.com. This is Psychic Medium Jill M. Jackson. Welcome to the show. This is Best of the Best, Connect Soul to Soul. I am so excited this evening that this is my debut show on Own Times Radio, and I have a very special guest this evening. I have celebrity psychic Michelle White Dove, who is a world-class spiritual medium. Lifetime TV named her America's number one psychic. White Dove's mission is to empower humanity as an enlightenment teacher and visionary. She's a six-time author who actively works as a psychic life coach, spiritual medium, and futurist. You may have actually seen her on HBO or the Today Show with Matt Lauer. Michelle recently published her first ebook. The title is Ask White Dove, Spiritual Advice from America's Top Psychic. You can find it on Amazon, and it's available in softcover, too. Michelle is now teaching online courses. You can join her from around the world. The next class begins on February 23rd. It's a four-week class titled The Journey of the Soul. You can also join Michelle on a Psychic Adventures cruise in 2016. Coming up, we'll talk about that later in the show, the luxury ship will go from Fort Lauderdale, Florida to Mexico and back, visiting ancient Mayan ruins. And for more information about Michelle, her books, classes, events, and appearances, go to michellewhitedove.com. And without further ado, I would like to welcome Michelle White Dove to the show. Good evening, Michelle. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing really well. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you. I have a little bit of a cold, so if my voice gets scratchy during the (laughs) interview tonight, I apologize. Well, that makes two of us. I don't have a cold, but I have allergies. So if I sound a little bit, you know, raspy, we, we, we're we connected. <laughs> All right. We, we understand each other. All right. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so we have we have a lot to talk about tonight, Michelle. And uh, for those of you that are tuning in, we will not be accepting psychic questions tonight only because we have so much to talk about with Michelle. She has so much going on. And I know a lot of you are excited to hear about all of her 2016 predictions. We'll be talking about some of those tonight, so feel free to to join in and visit Michelle at michellewhitedove.com. You can find out everything that's going on because she does have a lot of events and special things and classes coming, coming up. And before we get into the 2016 predictions, Michelle, I just wanted to ask you about the Psychic Adventures Cruise that you have coming up. Can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, yes, it's. Uh, I've done the cruise before, but this cruise is different because it's people that um, are looking to join me on the cruise as company and have the experience and have readings and have uh, spiritually, let's say, to spiritually enlighten them and wake them up. So it should be a lot of fun. And that will be October uh, 22nd through the 27th. And that's this year, of course, 2016 with the Princess uh, Cruise. Okay, wonderful. And and our listeners can sign up for that through your website. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. They can just go to michellewhitedove.com. Uh, and awesome. it's right there on the the homepage. Okay, beautiful. I know that that will be a lot of, a lot of fun. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about your predictions. And, you know, a lot of predictions that are out there today that come through really gifted mediums as yourself, a lot of them are negative. And uh, so I just wanted to ask you about that and ask you what your process is and how you deal with some of the visions that you may see that aren't that pleasant. 
Well, it, 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 you say that very well. It's not pleasant at all. But I would like to say before we even talk about there's always more than one probable outcome or more than one future. So if we keep going at the rate that we are, meeting the collective consciousness, meeting humanity, meeting the government, meeting uh, Mother Earth, if we continue to go the direction that we are, that's unfortunately the outcome. But if we can wake up enough souls, spiritually speaking, and we have to hold on to hope, we as the people can come to de- together peacefully, understanding that we're sisters and brothers on a higher level by spirit, and uh, really just get... We're going to reroute and change the format. A lot of these indigo children are born as well. To It's a change of the man-made systems that no longer work for the people meeting humanity. That started in 2012, and I blogged about that. 2014 was the second shift, and 2016, this year, is the third shift, speaking about a vibration, a higher vibration, and the veil being lifted. So I I just want to clarify, there is always more than one probable outcome or future, but it's governed by the collective consciousness. God honors our gift of free will, and there's that percentage right there. Do you want to take that lovely cruise boat on into like what feels like the heavens, or do you want to sink like the Titanic? (laughs) You know, we all have that choice, and so... You know, spirit always gives me the information that is happening, has happened in the past, present, and where we're going in the future. But the reason why I put this information up is to say, listen, guys, people, wake up. Let's wake up and let's change this outcome. And I firmly believe that because if I didn't believe that, then how could I continue to do my work or see hope in humanity, hope with Mother Earth? God knows she'll always take care of herself. You don't ever want to mess around with Mother Earth and her temper. (laughs) And, you know, so it's time for changes uh, that are long overdue that are corrupt. And you're seeing really just people going bonkers everywhere, not only here in the United States, but all throughout the world. We're just, uh, you know, we're like bipolar. (laughs) Yeah, and uh, I, I read your, you know, all of your 2016 predictions and, and, you know, we're going to talk about some of them tonight, but, but those listeners, please go to Michelle's website and her blog and read all of her 2016 predictions because there's a lot of really, really amazing information there. And what I love about your work, Michelle, is that you report the truth of everything that you're shown through your visions and, You know, Michelle was named America's number one psychic years ago. She's won best, best psychic through best American psychics two years in a row. And, uh, but what you do, you report what you see, but I love how you write how we can change that, the outcome and how we can make things better as a, as a global consciousness. So thank you for that. Yes. I'm going to, you know, I, when I wrote it, it was very, very heavy. You know, and, and very difficult, and it weighed on my heart, and it's kind of like having an 800-pound gorilla, mm-hmm. uh, but when I prayed about it, Spirit said it was very important to release that information, that many people already knew it, and they were acting on it, and this is, once again, the year where it's the final shift, it's the last call to wake up, and it's really a be, about being self-sufficient and independent and having everything that you need. And, you know, everybody so counts on the computer and the electricity and the lights and the iPad and the iPhones. Well, what happens when that goes out? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I still to this day print my books in, uh, you know, paperback for and print, because at least when that time comes, we will uh, we'll still have that type of information. And it's not to say that this is the end of the world, but this is definitely where this year is really going to be a roll, uh, a rock and roll up and down like roller coaster ride that makes 2012 look like nothing or a <laughs> previous up to date. Absolutely. And one thing that, that I've received in, in my visions, Michelle, and, and I'd like you to comment on this and see how this resonates for, for you is to me, um, what I'm getting is there's really no gray areas in anymore. Oh, Ava, you nailed it on the head. You just nailed it on the head. 
And, you know, I am not of any man-made religion. I just refer to myself as a spiritual medium. And, of course, God first and foremost. But you just nailed it on the head. It's very simple. You're either on one team or the other. We'll say light, dark, night, day. And for those that are not willing to change and wake up, you know, spiritually and do the work and they don't care, they're set in their ways, well, bye-bye. We're going to see a lot of souls go out in large numbers, but we're going to see a lot of souls that are going to wake up that are already awake, like you, like myself, and that are helping to wake up others. So I will continue to post, even throughout this year, uh, and update blogs, and they will be about not only our financial situation here in the United States. Uh, yes, it will also be based on government uh, information and about the environment, about the people. So I'll be blogging throughout the year when normally I just put it out, everything at the, you know, before the first or at the first. But I felt it was too much to hit people with those blogs. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And we're going to, we're going to be taking a short break coming up, Michelle, but, um, please join us. We, we have so much more to talk about. Michelle's going to be sharing some of her predictions for 2016 and also the positive side of all that. We'll be talking about her classes coming up. So we're going to take a short break, uh, in about 30 seconds and be sure to visit Michelle at www.michellewhitedove.com. And again, this is Psychic Medium Jill M. Jackson. You can reach me at www.jillmjackson.com or on bestamericanpsychics.com. And we will be right back after a short break. You're listening to OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Hi, this is Sylvia Henderson, Intuitive Life Coach and Energy Healer. Are you ready to elevate and rise way above your normal? Be sure to listen to my show, Intuitive Transformations, on Own Times Radio, Sunday evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern. Get the inspiration you need to transform your life. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. As difficult as it is to believe, there are places in Africa where human traffickers sell albino children and their body parts for use in magic rituals. Humanity Healing International is actively working in Uganda to change this paradigm. The Albino Rescue Project finds albino children who are at risk and places them in safe schools and environments where they can learn and grow free from fear. To learn more or to sponsor a child, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Do you have time to read that inspiring book or that blog post you've been meaning to get to? In your busy world, how do you improve yourself and keep your life going? I'm Lisa Kay, and my Between Heaven and Earth radio show can transform your life just by listening. Be uplifted with inspiring topics, positive stories, and ideas that really work. Between Heaven and Earth radio is conscious living for your soul. Every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. You're listening to OTRFM. Part of the IOM Radio Network. Welcome back to the show. This is Psychic Medium Jill M. Jackson, and you are listening to Best of the Best, Connect Soul to Soul. 
And I am so excited that this is my debut show with Ohm Times Radio. And with a debut show, a really special guest is needed. So uh, I am with psychic medium Michelle White Dove this evening. For those of you just joining us, Michelle White Dove was named America's number one psychic. She received the Best Psychic of the Year Award two years in a row with Best American Psychics. And uh, you can reach her at www.michellewhitedove.com. Welcome back to the show, Michelle. Oh, thanks for having me. So we've been talking about your 2016 predictions, and I know that a lot of the listeners out there are interested in what your prediction is about the presidential election. Would you would you care to talk about that at all? Yes, actually, uh, I waited. <laughs> I waited every year, or, or shall I say, every term. I believe that it will come down to Hillary. Uh, that is not my opinion. I want to clarify this. It is what Spirit uh, told me. If we go back to the last election between Obama and Hillary, which she was supposed to get the election in, and by let me just make these points for the people listening. She did win the popular vote, the people's vote. She did have the super delicate, uh, delicates in office. Obama did. We saw as Americans on maybe CNN or Fox News a very short snippet of a private, a private meeting that Hillary took with Obama right before it was the last call. So the deal that was struck there, a lot of people don't realize, is she kind of uh, let's just say back paddled or, or buckled under pressure. And he said, all right, you can become secretary of state. I'll run. And then after I run, then you'll become the next president, even though it should have been uh, his term. Now, going back to that question, coming up uh, with the new elections, I see Hillary as a de- uh, the, that party, the Democratic Party. I see, uh, believe it or not, <laughs> Trump. And I actually feel that that is who it's going to come down to. But I also have said, and I blog this, and it's written on my, uh, spiritually speaking, my 2016 predictions, that I felt that there was a black horse that none of us see, none of us see coming. We don't know who they are, but boy, they move up really fast. And I'm not sure who that one is. But we're still a ways away from the actual, you know, this is really for me the beginning, but I would say that Hillary has said that Hillary, listen to me for the love of God. This is what happens when you talk all day. <laughs> <laughs> for the love, let me have some more coffee. <laughs> no, this year I say that uh, Hillary Clinton will win it. It is not my again my opinion. It was what I was told by Spirit. She was supposed to get it the last election, but she made that uh, choice that I'm sure she will forever regret. And if you notice, she's even backing Obama right now. Yes, and and I agree, Michelle. uh, Spirit has has shown me the same thing, and I agree with you. It's it's not my my personal. uh, It's not my personal choice, right? No, no. Uh, but I but I love what you've seen and what you've been shown by Spirit that um, it will be kind of the last presidency or election cycle as we currently know it. Yes, bingo. <laughs> Spot yeah. On. yeah, and I, I love how you how you talk about that. Um, so, and, and I agree and resonate with with everything that that you're speaking of. Um, so, along with that, when I was reading some of your predictions, I, I felt it was really interesting what you talk about with with what's going on in the world. And like I said, we only have so much time tonight, so I really want to get to some things that the listeners can really take home with with them tonight. But I do encourage everyone out there to go to Michelle's site, michellewhitedove.com, read her blog, read all of the predictions. They're fascinating, and she has amazing advice, too, on how to handle yourself with the changes that are coming. And um, But what, what do you see, Michelle, coming with, with the stock market? Actually, it's falsely being inflated, and I actually see the stock market bottoming out crashing so uh, uh, kind of the same thing of what we saw in 2008 or even worse more or less i'd say 2008 it, you know they have a, what they call a safety net and it goes so far down and then they just close it but i wouldn't advise i don't advise my clients or people that i read for and i read for people all over the world to uh 
bank on that or think that your money's safe or that stock's going to pay. It's really a form of gambling. Uh, I feel that people are much more, it's much more important that these days, unfortunately, we have to have still paper, which means the Benjamin's cash, plastic. Also, it will come back to silver, gold, the precious metals. Also, it will come back to a barter system. Oh, you have this service. You know how to do a massage therapist. I know how to do readings. Would you like to trade? I'm just using that for an example. Right. And it will also come back to, again, the basic things, the simple things like food and water and you know lighting and, and, and this. So it's like we begin, a, a, let's just say Mother Earth is birthing a light, lighter version of herself at a higher vibration frequency. And for those of us that are willing to raise our frequency and vibration, spiritually speaking, you're not going to have to worry about all this, Jill. <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, th- this is a great time, Michelle, to talk about your your um, online classes that are coming up. I love the title of it, The Journey of the Soul, and, and it begins on February 23rd. It's a four-week class. Do you want to talk a little bit about that, Michelle? Well, th- this particular course is uh, – the first course I did was what I call Basic 101 Spirituality. This particular, the next class that are classes I should say that I'll be doing is much more advanced information. So those people that are willing to, let's just say, raise the bar or learn even further, which I think everyone should be open minded. That's how we continue to learn. I don't care what age you are. But this is for people that uh, want to know about the heavens and want to know what it looks like and what are the Akashic records and what are the indigo children and so it's it's not just me speaking and teaching but also interacting with the uh, audience awesome that sounds wonderful um, so yeah feel free to, to go to Michelle White Dove and they can sign up for that class on your website Michelle yes they can sign up on the class and it's great I mean for the price and for the time, it's it, you really it, it's wonderful. And I have so many people. I used to teach at Nova. Michelle, come back to teaching, teaching, and that's why I love to continue to write my books. So I thought, you know what? Somebody approached me. Uh, it's actually Mimi TV, and really, I will say this, and this is another prediction, if you want to say. But the new quote TV or shows, where will everybody? What would they be watching? Uh, is going to be the the computer, the the iPad, the iPhone, the uh, Apple uh, iTV, you know. So that's really where the new TV is. I agree. And do you also see, I, I see a, a, a surge of shows dedicated to the, the psychic and metaphysical industry really exploding. Have, have you seen that as well? Oh, yes, especially uh, this year, even even last year, this year. And there will be more. There will be yeah. more shows that uh, have to do with not only just being a spiritual medium and pulling loved ones through, but I happen to work as a help intuitive as well and with children, which are two of my biggest loves. Murder cases, which, gosh, talk about that. That is not pretty to see mm-hmm. or relive. It's like walking through somebody's nightmare. But it does help the police, it helps the family closure, it helps the soul. And I call that blood money. That's not something, I don't take money for working uh, murder cases. But that's another uh, another thing that I do on top of many. <laughs> yeah, and, and I've worked on the investigations as well, and you're right. It, you know, But I believe, Michelle, it takes a special type of medium to, you know, and it's a calling. It's not something that you would, you know, yes. want to go out there and kind of, quote, sign up for. So... I am That's so, the truth. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> so happy for for the work that that you do. We have another couple of minutes. We have about three minutes before we take our second break. And um, can, so, can you just talk a little bit about gold and silver and some of the metals with your predictions and what's coming with that, Michelle? Yes, I want to be clear on that. And I talked about this uh, last year and the year before that. Every year I weigh in. I think it's very important that we keep uh, gold and silver coin, and I'm not I'm not advising people to go to the bank and put it in their vault. Let me just put it that way. Yeah, <laughs> <I'm so serious. laughs> yeah read between the lines, huh? <laughs> yeah. 
read between the lines on that one. Yeah. Because the thing is, let's go back to the depression, uh, or let's just say the stock market is going to bottom out. And it is. I mean, look at where it is right now. Even astrologers that are well-known, other very well-known uh, spiritual mediums, it's all pointing to exactly that. So if you're buying uh, in the stocks, right, gold uh, or silver or any of the stocks, it's not going to be the same as if you have that actual coin somewhere where you can access. Because guess what? Once they lock those doors at the bank and say, bank closed, so sorry, we are now in a recession slash depression, uh, we, the banks are going to fold. Some of them are already doing so and trying to merge. Well, once they put that lock on there, to hold your breath and wait, if you do that, you're going to be dead, physically speaking. Because they only insure up to $100,000, but how, when and where and who is going to give us that money? And it's not just that. It's just better to have on you or where or, or let's just say your loot, we'll call it, like the pirate states. Keep it where nobody knows where it is, but you know where it is and you have access to it. Because, again, it will come to all forms of currency and then some. And then if you notice, Jill, they keep reprinting the money and marking it differently so they can track it. Yeah, absolutely. And it's all about awareness, Michelle, which is exactly what you're doing with your, your predictions and your, and your blog. And, uh, we really appreciate that with you having the, um, you know, the, the faith and the trust to be able to speak what you're being shown. So I personally want to thank you for that. And we're going to take another short break coming up. Again, this is psychic medium Jill M. Jackson. You can reach me at www.jillmjackson.com or bestamericanpsychics.com. And my special guest this evening is celebrity psychic Michelle White Dove. And you can reach Michelle at www.michellewhitedove.com. Dot com. Please join us after the break. We have so many more exciting things to talk about with Michelle's 2016 predictions. You're listening to OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Matt Connerton here. Join Jen Coffee and I twice a week for Matt Connerton Unleashed, a political talk show that's a little different than what you're used to. No liberal or conservative agenda here, just an honest dialogue about truth and how things really work in the world of politics. Matt Connerton Unleashed, every Tuesday and Thursday night at 11 p.m. Eastern on OM Times Radio. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. OM Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single OM Times endeavor. Host your show with OM Times Radio Network. Om Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Om Times, co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. To read that inspiring book or that blog post you've been meaning to get to? In your busy world, how do you improve yourself and keep your life going? I'm Lisa Kay, and my Between Heaven and Earth radio show can transform your life just by listening. Be uplifted with inspiring topics, positive stories, and ideas that really work. Between Heaven and Earth radio is conscious living for your soul every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. This is OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network.
Welcome back to the show. This is psychic medium Jill M. Jackson, and you are listening to Best of the Best, Connect Soul to Soul. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern, and you will be listening to myself normally the third Tuesday of the month, but every Tuesday is a great Tuesday because my awesome colleagues have shows on Best of the Best as well, so be sure to tune in. And for those of you who are just tuning in this evening, I have a special guest with me. I have celebrity psychic Michelle White Dove. Welcome back to the show, Michelle. Thank you again for having me. So I want to talk about one of your predictions, and I find it fascinating, where you talk about the UFOs and life on other planets and about disclosure. So do you want to talk a little bit about what you see coming with that? <laughs> You're brave, Jill. You're brave. I know. <laughs> I had to go there, Michelle. I had to go there. <laughs> well, it's okay because I've had this information for so long and I actually purposely did uh, hold the ba- hold that information back from, let's say, blogging it or going viral to the public because I felt that they weren't ready. However, I do feel with this final shift in 2016 and with the sightings and that, yes, we do have star beings here. Let's not be so presumptuous to think that we are the only group of God's children. I mean, if you go up out there, right, in, in a really beautiful starry night and it's dark and you look up, Think of all those stars and planets that have been unexplored, not discovered. Even our ocean, it's what, 8%, I believe, that's discovered, or only 10%. Very small. So what I'm saying is that from this year, 2016, moving in, by the way, the predictions are not only for 2016, 17 and beyond, you will now see the interaction. People will see with the physical eye, UF, what they'll call UFOs or different type of aircrafts that our star beings or celestial beings have. And so most of them that are here right now, they're actually here to help us and intervene so that we do not destroy the planet or each other because our reality, our realm, affects other planets and realities, being that we're multidimensional beings. Absolutely, and and I've had a special connection my, myself for years. So I I love that you are bringing awareness to to this issue, and I feel like it's been covered up for for quite some time. Yeah. So thank you for blogging about that, and 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 Michelle goes into even more detail in her blog. So be sure to to go to michellewhitedove.com and read all of uh, her predictions about that. It's fascinating. Um, so I want to kind of lighten up the mood a little bit, Michelle, and, <laughs> and talk about uh, – can you talk about a couple of your ex- kind of fun celebrity predictions for 2016? Oh, goodness gracious. Now you're really <laughs> throwing me under the bus. Uh, actually, I have my I have my celebrity <laughs> predictions, and those went up before the global predictions went up, if that tells you something. Yes, <laughs> that tells a lot. <laughs> yeah, to keep it at a lighter note, uh, for sure. But again, I I think it's very, very important that we stress here, that I stress to everyone that we have more than one probable outcome and we still have hope and the game's not over. This wonderful schoolhouse that God provided us for is going to continue to do what she needs to do and humanity will continue to evolve. Even those that are not getting on, let's say, the lighter bus or or shifts (laughs) the heavens. But um, let's talk about Adele. You know, I happen to love her natural voice. I mean, meaning she wasn't trained. Uh, trained. She is just a natural at it and, and very humble, very sweet. She has a stage fright like nobody believes. But I talk about how everyone's expecting um, her career to be golden. And it is. And I see her and Simon together for a very long time, who she's married. I also see them having another child. Uh, that will be rather quick. <laughs> that will come a little bit before she's ready, we'll say. So there will be another baby for that beautiful song, uh, Stress. She's just really a beautiful woman inside and out. And she's going to just, everything she touches is going to turn to gold. And some people are going to say to her, you said no to that? Why? And she's very particular what she says yes and no to as far as her projects. And I do see Adele extending out and going further, not only just with her music and singing, but also uh, creating songs for other musicians and also 
interacting and working with other musicians. And I also see her going into, let's say, quote, show business a little bit more, whether that's acting uh, or branding, you know, her name, that's all going to come with her. She's golden. I love that. And she's always remained true to who she is, Michelle. And that's what I love about her. That's what I love about her, too. She is who she is. And and um, so that's exciting. I was happy to read that for 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 Adele. And and there's so many more on your on your site. Like I said, just be sure to go to Michelle's site and her blog and read about it. It's really interesting. I, I, I thought it was interesting what your prediction is for um, Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton. And, and you know, I, when, when I was reading your prediction about that, I felt like that there was a lot of um, past life uh, karma coming to play here. But, but I found it so interesting what your prediction was for them. Thank you. I, you know, when it comes to the celebrity predictions, every year they want them. And I have to rub elbows with these people, okay? Uh, <laughs> so- yeah. You know, I wouldn't want somebody throwing out there all these, you know, let's just say not so nice things. Uh, now, if they're true, I guess they're true. They're a fact. So when I do the celebrity predictions, I always try to um, tune in to the positive and read positive and, you know, things that they have to look after. Let's say if there's a health crisis, I will go public with that, hoping that they know about that, they're aware of it, or they get addressed. But... I do read for celebrities, but, you know, they don't like you dropping their name. And and when you do uh, see them at a party, you don't want to be the, the redheaded stepchild like myself <laughs> going, oh, that's the that's that psychic that said this about me. You know, so I always try to keep that on an upbeat, positive note, unless it's a health warning. Absolutely. And and all of your predictions are very, very positive. And uh, and what even what you talk about with with them is positive as well. And I understand that that's what the public wants. They they need to hear that from you. But uh, it, it's good that you do keep that positive. And all of your predictions, like I like I said, reading all of your predictions, they always have a positive spin. And in the last segment of the show, um, I I want to talk about what you see spiritually coming for for 2016 um, and and what you talk about with the age of enlightenment and and the transition and the different paths that we can choose to to go on but before we talk about that that topic is there anything else Michelle that you do want to talk about to help people kind of prepare for what's co- for what's coming yeah, well, yes. Actually, I would tell them to please look at the blogs, uh, spiritually speaking, and the other blogs that are predictions for 2016, which is the final shift. Means once that that uh, let's say we'll say gate is open, you know, run while it's open because once it's closed, then that's that. So you know, people talk about the end of the world. It's it's not the end of the world. It's the end of the world as we've known it with these man-made programs that, again that are no longer serving the system, uh, or I mean the system, the people. And you're going to see the people um, get up in arms. So this, uh, Jill, go ahead and repeat that question to me. I'd, I'd be really happy if you could like narrow in on a specific target. If you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's perfect that you're going with that because I, I've psychically seen that as well, Michelle, with another type of, of civil war uh, coming yes. through the United States. And yes. I feel like that people need to be prepared. And like I said, and like you say, it's not about going into to fear mode. It's just about being aware and prepared. Exactly. Exactly. So we're on the same page. That's great. Meaning, though, and for all the listeners, what we're saying, even Mother Teresa said, now don't stockpile for years because basically you're you're insulting your creator and yourself and saying, well, I don't believe that all my todays and tomorrows are supplied for. That is fear. Now, if we just use common sense and also the information that Spirit has given from from the Godhead, that this is, let's say I'm in Florida right now, so I would tell the Floridians, are you completely prepared for two or three weeks if the lights go out with food, with water? Um, For example, I don't mind, I'll say it. I have a well here. I have a compost um, we have a compound. We have where we grow, uh, you know, from the trees, different fruits and anything that's bearing uh, edibles, we'll say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> you know, uh, it's important to keep a, a propane. If you have a stove that's based on gas, right? That'd be wonderful mm-hmm. instead of electrical type of uh, stove. I'm trying to think. You know, I, I, I'm good to be the bad guy here, but I don't really see it that way. I know that right now we're in a big, uh, it's a big, big topic right now in the world, especially here in the United States about the gun laws. And I definitely see them trying to take our guns and arms away from us, meaning the people, even meaning if we are going in and we're doing it by protocol, you know, you have your gun permits, you have your gun they are, if you notice, they're now, we can thank Obama for this, but they're trying to really take our rights to, to, to bear arms, and that's against the Constitution. The reason why I bring this up is because a lot of people have already said, I'm, I'm going to get off the grid, and I am going to get a compound or uh, an island like uh, Johnny Depp. He bought a whole mm-hmm. island, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's pretty radical. That's extreme. But what I'm saying is, you know, uh, canned foods, learn how to can foods. Make uh, soy candles. You know, you can make them yourself. Uh, you know, when we can food, that's great. We have to really think about having land and, and being independent, self-sufficient, and relying on our own sources. Not only our inner sources, meaning spirit, but also on being prepared, let's say, for two, three weeks. Generator. Absolutely. Yeah, generator's great for that, too. And it Absolutely. comes to different sizes. Yeah, Absolutely. And I'm glad that you actually brought this up because it's all part of awareness and and being prepared. And uh, so, again, there's so many more predictions on Michelle's (laughs) blog. So uh, we don't have time to go over all of them tonight. But but be sure to visit MichelleWhiteDove.com, read her blog. We will be right back after a short break with our final segment for the evening. This is Psychic Medium Jill M. Jackson with Michelle White Dove. This is OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Hi, everyone. This is Shay Parker, the host of Best of the Best, which airs live right here on IOM Radio every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Pacific. I'm super excited to bring you expert guest hosts, spiritual discussions, free psychic readings, and so much more. I can promise that you will not want to miss this one of a kind, fun yet touching, down to earth show. Join us every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific on OTRFM. This is Shay Parker, and I can't wait to see you there. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. Hello, I'm Miriam Knight of New Consciousness Review, inviting you to my new show where I interview the rising stars of the Conscious Awakening. We'll explore the many faces of consciousness and action and intriguing perspectives on life, the universe, and everything in between. Join us each Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern on the Rising Stars Show. This is OTRFM. Part of the IOM Radio Network. Welcome back to the show. This is Psychic Medium Jill M. Jackson. 
and you are listening to Best of the Best, Connect Soul to Soul. I have a special guest this evening. For those of you just tuning in, I have celebrity psychic Michelle White Dove with me. Welcome back to the show, Michelle. Once again, thank you (laughs) for having me. And uh, I, I wanted to save this part for the last segment because I absolutely love what you wrote about the spirituality coming and the choices and the the transition, the age of enlightenment for 2016. And I know that, you know, we only have about 12 minutes left in the show this evening and there's no way you can really talk about everything that you did channel uh, regarding that. So feel free to, you know, go to Michelle's blog and read all about it. But can you talk a little bit about what you see coming with the opportunities for the spiritual advancement? Well, well, we're really, it's a, it's an individual choice that then leads to a collective consciousness if we band together. And what I mean by that is, okay, here's the, here's the cheat sheet to the test, Jill. And I've been saying this for years and people are still having a hard time comprehending that or wrapping it around their brain. But it's not about wrapping it around our brain or our ego. It's about getting in our higher self or even in your heart. And, Oh gosh, where was I going with that here? I'm like, there it was. And <laughs> yes, individually speaking, um, if we individually come to the understanding of our own free will that we choose to hold the space of unconditional love and grace and light, well, guess what? That's the cheat sheet. Then you've pa- then you've passed the test. But it's not to say it's easy when it's easy when you love that person or you're in love. I'm going to say a romantic relationship, but I'm talking about every relationship on every level. Uh, it doesn't just have to be your husband, your children, your people that you work with, your friends. But it's easy when it's easy, right? But is it easy to hold that place of love, unconditional love and grace and light when you are just getting pounded or you're, you know, let's say surrounded with some uh, souls that are not as advanced and let's say darker in color, not their skin, but their soul. Mm-hmm. Choosing the dark side versus a lighter side. So you have to be able to, you don't have to, but make the choice of your own free will to choose grace and love, unconditional love over fear and evil and negativity and greed. And it feels like that it's an opportunity for people to really grow on a soul level while they've incarnated in these human bodies this time, because isn't it an exciting time to be incarnated on, on planet earth during, during these changes? It's, it's, it's like a big, believe it or not, party and celebration for the heavens. It's about us graduating, meeting the planet and humanity, this, you know, human beings. So it is exciting because the, if we look out to the future, the possibilities are endless and, and anything is possible. So we can definitely turn this around. If, it, if we have 20 to 25 percent of the world population wake up, spiritually speaking, and not just saying, oh, this is what I know and this is what I believe and this is what I've heard. Or, uh, but the, the real question is, is this what you're living? Are you living your life by the universal laws? By, by the tools, prayer, meditation, are you choosing to practice that grace in your even your lower state of consciousness, your ego, and saying, no, I'm going to come from grace, unconditional love? Or how's this? If I'll say this for some people. Let's say that the Blessed Mother Mary, um, you, you know, materializes in front of me or let's say Jesus or for some people depending on their religions or their belief system whoever that may be let's say it is an angel would you behave the way that you're behaving or or the way that you were behaving let's say and then that angel shows up it's kind of like a check isn't it going oh boy because we are (laughs) humble you know we are humbled by the presence of God. We are humbled by that Christ consciousness, and I think humility goes a long way. That's beautiful, Michelle. I love that, and we can all kind of have that checkpoint from time to time. And as long as we sort of live in the moment and and not focus on the past and not be so concerned with the future, but really and truly embrace the moment and live in gratitude i i feel like that that's so important to live in gratitude it's very it's funny you say that jill because uh, i was saying my prayers as every day but yesterday 
And even spirit said to me, said to me, you know, gratitude. And so I find myself now, and it's actually been going on for some time, where I'll go into prayer, and really my prayer is nothing more than just simply expressing over and over my gratitude for everything that I have and for this gift and being allowed to share this gift with the world and help people. And for that, I'm grateful, eternally grateful. And and I think that we have forgotten, you know, everyone's uh, distracted by these let's just say day-to-day routines or what's around us. And it's it's really important to do some soul searching, some soul reflecting, prayer, meditation, and prioritize. Clean up your own temple and vehicle in your own house. And then when it comes to others, just be a shining example. Don't throw, uh, you know, stones if you live in a glass house. (laughs) And really, words hurt, you know. So it's about us healing not only... Well, it's emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and physically. And if we don't do the uh, the lighter, let's say, healing mentally, emotionally, spiritually, then physically I'll manifest. Absolutely. And uh, another thing that I really resonate with you, Michelle, is is your love for, for Gaia, for, for Mother Earth. And I feel like it's so important, and you talk about this as well in, in your blogs, and you've talked about this on other shows as well, about trying to heal Mother Earth and sending positive energy and raising the vibration of, of the planet. So we we just have a few minutes left in the segment. Would you like to comment on that? Yes, absolutely. Um, and thank you uh, for, for noticing that. I have a great love uh, for Mother Earth because this is the feminine aspect of the Godhead. And she was created for God's children, human beings, and even other groups, believe it or not, that people don't even realize that are here, that are different uh, groups of God's children. But this planet is so important because it's our home. It's where our grandchildren and their children, you know, and I, and I can't stand the people when I see them throw a McDonald's bag out of the window. I'm like, oh, my goodness, you know, mm-hmm. we have this is our home. This is where we live. Uh, let's just look about look at the elements, fire, air, water, earth. Those are the elements, but the spirits also that govern that. In Ireland, we say the fairy kingdom. Try to say that in the States. or like, good boy, what is she talking about? You know, so Mother Earth is going to take care of herself, but I think that it's time for us all to wake up and learn that we need to take care of her because she is the mother to all of us. She gives us food. She gives us air to breathe. She gives us fire. She gives us everything that we need. And, and that's not even counting the beauty of her. Uh, whether it's the the Rocky Mountains, whether it's the ocean, whether it's the valleys or the forest, it's it's something that is to be honored. It's life for every animal, for every plant, for everything that you know you say that's living. It has a soul. It has energy. It has essence. I love when people say to me, "Oh, that's just an animal. They don't have a soul." <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, let me tell you, if the dog has an aura and, and it's living and breathing, it has a soul and consciousness. And, Absolutely. And it's, yeah, it's scary to think that we still have some souls out there that don't even understand or have respect first for themselves, much less the planet or animals or, quote, really the innocent. Mm-hmm. And something else that I'm really big as far as a humanitarian, it's time for world leaders or anyone that's in a position or has a voice uh, out there to the world or the media in any format, it's time for us to become active and start not just talking about the problems, but let's go to the solution and let's come together and work on that from Mother Earth because the bodies of waters are completely toxic and we're having, uh, look what happened in Japan when it got hit and those nuclear plants went down. We're still seeing and experiencing the uh, aftermath of that, which is worse than when they went down in the first place. It's killing all the fish, the waters, our oceans. And without our oceans, there will be no life. And and it's all about educating ourselves, Michelle. So thank you for bringing that to the awareness of the listeners tonight. There's so many documentaries out there that people can watch and pay attention to to do our own little part because it all starts with within and even if you don't live there there's a start right exactly exactly we can (laughs) all do something to help 
our beautiful Mother Earth. So we only have about two minutes left remaining this evening. So, Michelle, I just want to let everybody know what's coming up for you. Uh, you have some a new online class beginning February 23rd, uh, Journey of the, the Soul. And uh, that sounds really interesting. And I know that people will get a lot out of that class. So be sure to go to Michelle's website and sign up for that. You have a, a, a cruise coming up. It's Psychic Adventures Cruise. Was that in October of 2016? Yes. Yes, okay. October. Wonderful. So they can also sign up for that on your website. Uh, you, you've had many books published. You have an ebook. All of your books can be found on Amazon. So be sure to check out Amazon and uh, type in Michelle White Dub's names. All of her books are on there. And I just want to thank you again, Michelle, for joining me this evening. And as always, talking about really interesting and enlightening subjects. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jill. And for everybody out there listening, uh, I would just say, stay late, lay low, be good, don't be <laughs> naughty, say your prayers, prayers when we're talking to God, meditate when we're listening, and that's the beginning right there. Thank you so much, Jill, and God bless, and God bless to everyone, and good night. Good night. Thank you, Michelle. This is Psychic Medium Jill M. Jackson. Join me next month. Best of the best connects soul to soul. Namaste. Thank you for joining us for Shea Parker's Best of the Best. Be sure to tune in next week for more lively discussion topics. Have a great week, and don't forget to check out bestamericanpsychics.com. In case you need some professional, ethical, and accurate psychic advice from the nation's best psychics. Until next week, take care.